And welcome back to the second edition of Mission Possible Surviving 2009. You're with Gil Dominguez and of course the entire Mission Possible team here at the NCTV studios in Nevada City, California. Okay, joining me on the set right now is uh, Marty Caldwell. Marty, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you too. Gil. And uh, welcome to the telecast. And we're going to be talking about another great event uh, here in our county. And uh, this is uh, Treasures in a Bag, and uh, all of the profits from this go to... Lifetime Adoption Foundation, and it's basically supporting um, women and children uh, in adoption, uh, women that are needing... Um, we have a food bank, we have a, a counseling we provide to women that are considering going through adoption, and also to help children that otherwise would stay in foster care to go into permanent homes. So it's a real need we have, not only in Nevada County and other areas too, but we do try to help a lot of women right here in Nevada County that are facing unplanned pregnancy or they're struggling with maybe um, raising some additional children and really want to stay, um, want some support in that area. So it's a, it's a very much needed thing. We did not want to go for grants or any type of things from the government. We wanted to be able to do fundraising in Nevada County and help the community also to, to bring awareness and bring some fun to people that are living in Nevada County. Mm -hmm. And so the whole thing with Treasures in a Bag is about gold panning and gym hunting and so kids and their parents and grandparents can come out and for about 10 to 14 dollars for two to three hours they can go ahead and pan for gold and take everything they get home and we make sure they have gold in their pans uh -huh. um, we have all the tools so they can go ahead and learn how to pan and then if they want they can go out to the rivers and streams with their families and also um, pan for gold but we do have um, treasure bags and inside these little bags are um, gemstones from all over the world and so the kids learn about the gems and geology and it's a very nice um, environment um, we have 16 acres in Penn Valley and so we have outdoor and indoor um, facilities so you can pan if it's raining or snowing we can still do it inside Wow! and uh, people really enjoy it quite a bit we're doing starting to do birthday parties and so we're trying to help the community also in making things affordable for them so they can have birthday parties you can enjoy it because there aren't a lot of places to be truthful in, in Nevada County you can go the kids haven't gone already mm -hmm. and it's very sad because we have very few places that you can pan for gold be outdoor with your kids and enjoy it and um, you know when you're you're panning for gold, you can't be really on your cell phone because <laughs> your fingers are all wet. Yeah, both hands busy. <laughs> exactly. Or you can't be on your computer or, um, you know, working with a lot of electronics. So it gives the children and their parents and grandparents times to interact with each other mm -hmm. and really enjoy this time um, together at a really affordable price. And so the funds, again, go 100% and everything we make goes, goes back into the community to help with um, the uh, women and children. And, and what a great throwback to uh, our own um, a way of life, what Nevada, Nevada County yes. was about at one time. Right. With all the gold panning and, and uh, our gold history here in, in the gold super. country area. Yeah, and we're putting up also some maps of Nevada County in our work area there. And we're located in Penn Valley at uh, 178 six zero cattle drive and it's right up a highway 20 and so people interested in that i'll give out a phone number if it's okay with you no no go uh, ahead if they can call the 432-7383 and fact, uh, i think we have a, a flyer on that we can go ahead and, and show that as well mm -hmm. while you're giving us the number so again a 432-7383 and they can call if they want to um come out this weekend we're going to have the event uh -huh. it will be um on saturday and on sunday we do it once a month and we also buy appointment for birthdays, um, for senior parties, for family get-togethers, reunions. People can bring their families out and um, enjoy as much time as they want. There's no admission fee. So if they come out, you only have to um, buy these little bags, and we'll show you, provide all the tools and show you how to do it. So it's really a fun thing for people to do. Uh, again, treasures in a bag. And there's a website they can go to, too. Um, treasuresinabag.com. Treasuresinabag.com. And uh, once a month here, uh, where is Cattle Drive? It's right, if you're going out to Highway 20, heading toward Marysville, right after the intersection, the light there, you can either go right to uh, Rough and Ready mm -hmm. or left to Penn Valley. If you Correct. continue on, the very next street is, um, is Cattle Drive, where the big... Uh, um, mini storages. Oh, okay. And you just turn right there, fall to the end, the big red barn, 
Oh, and okay. uh, you'll see signs up there, and you can pull into the driveway, and that's when the fun starts. And uh, we'll show you how to do everything out there. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Um, we have troughs out there for panning and also for the gym hunting, and we'll identify all your stones and, again, um, weigh any gemstones that you get, and you keep everything you get. Now let's touch base a little bit on the, on the cause, the adoption. A lot of people yes. don't realize the need for adoption services here Very in much. our own county. Right, and we're, there are only two organizations that have adoption services, and I've been doing adoption work now since 1986, so quite a few years. And uh, we actually employ 22 employees here in Nevada County. Mm -hmm. And so we bring a lot of, of richness into Nevada County as far as uh, supporting families and the needs that they have. But adoption is increasing during difficult times when people are finding that um, they're struggling with an unplanned pregnancy or maybe CP CPS is threatening to take their children. Mm -hmm. If they are, um, they don't want to lose their children, they have an option of open adoption. And that means that they can choose the family and stay in contact instead of losing the child to foster care. And so we're seeing a lot of women that are looking at this too, um, even married couples. And it's unfortunate, but you know we don't have orphanages and we don't have situations we did during the Great Depression, which is wonderful. Right. But when times get tough, we see the need for adoption to go up. And so women are coming now of their own choice and saying, I am considering this. But we want to make sure it's the right choice for them adoption isn't the right choice for everybody. Right. And so that's why we like to stabilize them with um, food and clothing and um, counseling and let them decide what's the best for them and their children. Well, we have uh, really look forward to hearing back from you then on this yes. event. And of course, further update, we have a lot yes. to talk with you about more than uh, we have time for right here. Yeah. But thanks for being here today. You, Good luck on your event. Thank and we'll you. be in touch with you and find out how that all worked out and get some it. more uh, information. Great. Thank from you so you much, later on. Uh -huh. all right.